hey hi hello and welcome hey my elevated babes welcome back to another video we are back with another video and today's video is a little bit little teensy little teensy bit weirder than uh what i normally post on this channel oh let me bring my little pumpkin into view you can kind of you kind of can't see her my little pumpkin um in my last video i was told that this is a candle holder but she is being used for change <laughs> But she'll make her appearance and then move out the way because we need our space. So as you can see, you can see all of my envelopes. And in this video, we will be um, changing out some of my envelopes for some new ones for the new year. And I know you're like, it's November. What do you mean new year? But I started my journey in November, the end of November. Um, so if you, if you, if you live corporate um november is my fiscal year <laughs> so for me i wanted to start fresh and start all over and you know pay homage to me starting my journey in november um so this makes a year so technically the 30th will make a full year on youtube but i wanted my new envelopes prior to and then also i have some new releases I have some new releases that I wanted to show and I wanted to release them on Black Friday so I wanted to show them before then so it, just 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 know there's a reason <laughs> that we're doing this now and not later so we're about to go through all my envelopes I have some new releases but what I want to do is pretty much switch out all my envelopes so these are my old ones and I want to switch them out for the new ones as well as show you my new envelopes because I've added some show you my new releases because I have some and um, kind of go through and up, um, set goals for my envelopes and my savings and so that way we kind of know what we're working towards I'm over here trying to find a marker if you guys are wondering or if my voice got a little far away, because I'm trying to find a marker to write with. <laughs> and we are not succeeding very well. Well, I have a bunch, but I don't know what's going to show up. So, how are we going to start? So, I think we're going to first, first start with switching out my binders. So, I now have a high priority binder, which is this one. I have a low priority binder, which is this one. And I'm not gonna be switching the envelopes in this one, but I will be setting up my goals for this one. And the only reason why I'm not switching them out because I couldn't figure out design I wanted to go for, and I didn't wanna rush it. Um, whatever design I pick, I may or may not even be releasing because I have to love it. So this one right here, I thought I loved it, but I don't love it, so I don't wanna release this top one that you can see, so I'm still working on it. But the ones that I love are the ones that I'm showing you. I now have a, if you watch budgeting or budget with Amanda uh, here on YouTube, she also has an Etsy, I think she also has an Instagram. She started a long-term binder and that's this one i'm gonna show you the back of it because this one houses my new releases and i'm not ready to show you guys that yet and then i also have this one which will be my savings challenge binder which also houses some new releases so i'll get to that in a little bit as well so let's first start with jumping in oh also actually now i'll show y'all that later i'll show you that in my budget with i mean in my um cash stuffing video so right skippity dippity on top is taxes and hold up where is my taxes so on top is my taxes so I just threw it because the envelope that I had taxes in uh, broke <laughs> so I just threw it in uh, another envelope so another update I think I told you guys in my budget with me which you guys wouldn't have saw just yet you would have saw actually no by the time you see this you would have saw that um <laughs> so it's a thing y'all it's a thing um so we're gonna write taxes and I knew this marker would not be the one yeah I need a different marker I figured I could just sense it every fiber in my bones could sense it what's this one this is like a dark mm. these purple markers be I don't know they be I don't know any. So we're going to start with taxes and we're going to write today's date. So today is 11-2 and this is just what's in it. So I'm going to just like kind of like dash that all the way out. 
so we know we're not adding we're not subtracting this is what it is starting with and I'll get over to what this stuff is on the side in a second so we're gonna go ahead and count this so it has 50 1 10 20 30 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 and 51 so 151 and taxes that has Etsy taxes that has YouTube taxes um and also I had some taxes from earlier in the beginning of the year that I had to spend so I am putting that back so that's four hundred and eighty dollars that I have to put back as well as contributing to what um I incur um so yeah, we are slowly but surely working on this. Time is dwindling down. We ain't got much time, but we gonna figure it out and hopefully we gonna be all right. <laughs> so now taxes. And so these are all my binders for here. And these are all now pink, um, except for my dad's. My dad's favorite color is purple. So that's why I went ahead and made his purple. <laughs> Um, so these are my dad's. Also, if you want to know where this little, um, not the booklet itself, the booklet came from Michael's. And I, I always forget to take this little thing off. I've just been living life with it on. So let's take it off right now in this video. I've had this on there for so long. See, it doesn't even want to come off. That's going to annoy me. So I'm going to just stick that back on there and I'll take that off later. <laughs> but it just says do more of what makes you happy. Um... So we have that one. Oh, now it's going to be dumb. Okay, so it's going to stick, but all right. Um, see, so taxes. And then we have dad's savings. So we're going to write that. Dad's savings. And I, um, like, well, I don't have a goal for taxes, but I have money I have to put back. So I have to put back 480 for taxes. Dad's savings. I don't, um, I want to have at least at least two hundred dollars in his savings now this is for if he needs anything or if something comes up and he needs something i've been having to just pull it from random envelopes to try to cover the cost because if he needs it he needs it um so i'm trying to start a savings for it so right now he has ten dollars in there so and he has ten dollars in his savings so i want to get this to two hundred that is the goal for this i wonder if i should write that somewhere i think i'll just put it over here so the goal is to have 200 dollars in his envelope and so i guess over here i'll write that i need to have 400 and 480 in makeup 480 makeup So I had a makeup um, money that I had to spend, so we'll do that. So now moving on, we have my personal savings. And um, honestly, I don't really have a goal for this. And the reason why I don't have a goal for this is because I'm now doing some other exciting stuff, which is the savings challenges. Um, and those have goals. So this is just additional savings on top of my savings challenges now. Um, so, but it's still high priority for me because I need to build that savings. So it's 11, two, and it has 150, I mean, 50, 100, 120 in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that so now I don't have to stuff this one as much but it does get stuffed every paycheck no matter what so there's that the next one is dream home so we're gonna have to move soon so this fund may get cut short and then we'll have to start it over because um, initially this is for a house but we're gonna have to move out of this apartment. There's just too much going on um, in this apartment. My landlord does not care about me or my health or my safety. So we can't stay here. So yeah. <laughs> and I just know this has 120 because it's the same as savings. But yeah, so we'll see. 
I have to schedule some appointments and try to find something that's not too crazy. So it has 50, 100, 10, and 120 is now in here. Y'all, I'm super excited. Like, I can't wait to start stuffing my envelopes, like, like with more money. <laughs> I'm just restuffing them right now, but I can't wait to start. It's going to be fun entertaining. I'm super excited for the new year. I just feel like everything happens for a reason. And I feel like it's going to be a good remainder of the year. And I feel like it's going to be a good next year. I feel like 2020 um, is going to be great. 2020, Lord, y'all. 2022. <laughs> we are way past 2020. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this in there. So it has 10, oh, that's not 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And this is probably going to get spent soon because I don't have any more contacts. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to schedule an eye exam because I'm due for my eye exam before they'll renew my subscription. I mean, like, let me get more contacts. I'm due for eye exam. So I have to schedule me an eye appointment. Plus, because I also want to schedule me an eye appointment because the contacts that I have, I don't really like. They keep breaking and like they'll break in my eye and that ain't cool. That is not cool at all. So next one we have here. Dang, I'm throwing the pen. Jesus. Dang, y'all. Sorry, bad. My bad. Drop the pen. <laughs> the next one we have here is car maintenance. Oh, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all goals. <laughs> I forgot to do these goals. I'm too busy running my mouth and talking. So, um, let's see. Which ones we missed? Savings we already discussed. Dream home is the same thing. It does and doesn't. We Once we figure out where we're moving to, then I'll start actually preparing for a dream home. So, it doesn't have a goal as of right now. Health, I want to get up to... 500 in here i wanted it to have that much at all times that is my goal for health um car maintenance i want the car maintenance side of it to have 500 in it at all times maybe a thousand even um i don't know who's calling me but they can wait um but i want to get some like cute stuff and accessories for my car as you guys know i got a brand new car it's not a brand new car it's a used car but it's brand new to me i got a new car and i want to get my windows tinted um my boyfriend said i think he said it's like 280 100 i mean 180 200 to get my windows tinted and i don't really know yet all the like accessories that i want to have in my car so i don't have a true true goal for this one yet either but it has, once I figure out that exact number, I will write that down. But um, right now it has 20, 30, 35, and 40 dollars. So far, not enough for anything. That's all I know. <laughs> um, so it has 40 dollars in here. Y'all, I'm trying to write straight for y'all. So I have to turn my body crooked. Should I zoom in a little bit? Can y'all see? I hope y'all can see. <laughs> um. So there is that one. Why do I close it? I gotta be careful with this, y'all, because I'll be pulling these things all the way off and then can't get it back on. It's a thing. So our next one and last one that we're putting money into in our high priority binder is Canva. This bill, I think, is due in either January or February, and it is $120 um that is how much that bill is so we got to get that up there <laughs> i should really start prioritizing this um so yeah it has 15 dollars in there right now so y'all have so many envelopes that i like stopped using i had a bunch that i just threw away because i was like i don't know what to do with them so i'm wondering if i should like de-stash them in a sense and just sell them at a reduced price and you just get them the way they are I don't know y'all oh I forgot the right was in here so there was as of today there was $15 in here and the last one for this particular binder is debt as you guys know I'm trying to start saving towards debt my priority right now is taxes because that's a bill <laughs> not a bill but 
money that I did shouldn't have spent that I did. Um, so I'm just gonna title this debt and not debt snowball. Um so I'm not gonna write a goal number on here and it doesn't have anything. So I probably shouldn't have wrote that, I could have just left it blank. But I did, so we're just gonna keep popping with it. Um, but yeah. So that is my high priority binder all switched out. So now we have my little pink high priority binder. I am super duper happy and excited with it. So now we're going to jump into our low priority binder. Mind you guys, these ones, these binder, these is all over the place. Some of them don't even got vinyl on them. Let's just ignore it for now. Eventually I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> all right. So the first one we have here is holiday and that doesn't have anything in it holiday i kind of want to have a christmas party so we'll see <laughs> i'm not gonna write anything there's nothing in there i don't have a goal for holiday um actually you know what i do i don't have a goal for this holiday but i think moving forward i want to keep like a hundred dollars in here I think 100 should be fine. Maybe 150. Let's go with 150 because this is just for like decorations or things like that. It's not like for something big. Um, it's just if I want to decorate the house and like, you know, something like that. <laughs> babe, he doesn't have, I mean, he doesn't have vinyl. Um, babe, I don't have a goal for what I want to have in here. This is just, this is just savings for him. I know there's $25 in there um, because we haven't stuff the last time we stuffed was $25 so that's all that's in there but I'll show it to you guys um and so there's no goal for this one it's just I want to start saving put money aside so this is if I want to get him random gifts if I want to pay for date night if he actually needs something it's money put aside for him um student loans the reason why student loans has been moved to my low priority is because um i'm in grad school so at least for the next two years i won't have to pay for student loans um but with that being said i don't want to not save for it at all because i already have student loans so i do want to contribute so i'm not going to put a goal for it because it is a low priority one right now but I just want to be able to put money aside whenever I can and build this up so that way when I do have to start paying student loans, I can have like a pretty decent payment. So there's $15 in there right now. I'm sorry if this is going to be a little bit more of a lengthy video. I just want to be really thorough with, you know, my explanations of all my sinking funds and my goals and what I want for them moving forward. So, yeah. This is my sinking fund. And y'all, I have not decided what I wanted to do with my little bit of money. It only has that hundred in there. Um, I want to get a wax. I want to get my lashes done. I, I just don't have the money, y'all. But, um, so it's just sitting there right now. And then when I decide what I want to do, I kind of want to build it up. My birthday is coming up. Um, so that's the thing. So I kind of just want to build this up, that, that up. So then we're moving on to travel. Travel has 25, I'll show you, but that was the last time we stuffed it. So that's all that is in it. 11, two, and it has $25 in there. We're moving right along though. We're moving right along. So it has $25 in there. Oh y'all, I'm out of breath. I'm trying to talk fast. <laughs> I have class soon and I really want to take a nap. I'm not going to hold you. So I already know I want to change the name of this. So I'm going to just change it now. It's going to be called Fits eventually. Um, and shucks, do I have a goal? This is going to have to come out of here. I actually know because I have to pay this bill. But there's $22 in there. Um, I think I want to have at least $500 in here. That should be enough if I want or need any clothes. But I have a feeling that I will never actually just sit with $500 in here. I always want something, y'all. And yes, it has $22. This is going to pay for my after pay for, uh, or quad pay for Fashion Nova. Um, to, uh, Friday should be my last payment of that. 
so it says this one says puppy it's not puppy this one's gifts and this is for like birthday gifts or anything like that nature so i want a goal i think 200 is a good amount to keep in here and i think it only has 10 i don't know but i think it has 10 i think so yeah it only has ten dollars in there so we're gonna move that that has 10 and then i think the last one in this binder and the last little note page that i have is christmas christmas has 25. i don't really know if this will be for this christmas it might be for next christmas i'm just starting it early um and the reason being is because I should be getting a refund check from school that I plan to actually do my birthday and Christmas with. Um, but I also will be Ubering just in case that doesn't come through when I want it to. Like it will come just if it doesn't come when I need it. Um, <laughs> I'll be Ubering to create some of the, to offset some of those costs. But yeah, this has $25 in there. And that is all for this little tracker book as well as this binder so that was stuck together and i knew that would happen so we have high priority and low priority done so now moving on to the binder that i was inspired by budget with amanda for she has a long term um binder so it has things like preparing for children wedding um honeymoon just long term things that you you're not like I'm not engaged right now, but eventually I will be. I actually had a conversation with my boyfriend about it and um, eventually I will be. So we'll see, but this is my new binder. These are also my new releases that will be dropping on Black Friday, y'all. And I am so obsessed with them. I'm about to take them out real quick because I want you to be able to see them. Look at this they are so adorable so these are my butterfly clear envelopes um i don't know if i'm going to call them that exactly um but as far as for the listing they are a six size binder i mean envelopes um you will be able to change the vinyl the butterflies will be random just because that will be probably easier um you won't be able to pick the color of the butterflies but you will be able to pick whatever color you want your uh, vinyl to be for your category name so for me I have baby boy so this is for my future son Dior this is going to be for my future puppy whether it's a boy or a girl I will name the dog Dior I always want to have a dog I've always wanted to name it Dior so that's a future fun for them or him or her I have honeymoon in here I have luxury. I want to get to the point where I can buy some luxury items. I hope you guys can see these in this full. It's getting a little dark. I'm recording at night. It's like 5.30, so. Oh, I'm so obsessed with these. They look so adorable. Mini Me is for my future daughter. I'm trying to like, so you can see it. Second car, if we have children, we'll need another car. So that's for that one. Wedding. Like I said, eventually we'll get married. And then I just had extra space, so I have a blank one. So if I do think of something else that's a really long-term event, I mean, or thing, that will go in here. And this binder will not get stuffed with anything over $5. So it will only get $5 or less until any of these become a priority. You know, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so once one of these are a priority, then it will get stuffed more than that. But while they're not priorities they will get less than five dollars i think the way she's doing her she's doing like she's only stuffing it with one dollar bills um but i'll be doing five dollars or less so i'm gonna go ahead and put this money in that we had saved for a wedding i think it's twelve dollars okay i think it's twelve dollars this is a brand new binder so it, it won't stay um open so this is how this looks with money in it. Look how adorable that is. Maybe I'm biased, but I'm obsessed. I think it's super cute. Um, and so I'm also gonna, these trackers, I, if you watch All Things Planned here on YouTube, um, she, these are her trackers and I wanted to support, y'all I'm trying to find a pen. 
if you're trying to, if you're wondering why my voice probably sounds far away, I'm trying to find a pen. Okay, we'll just go with this one. Um, all right, y'all. So sorry if it is a little bit dark. I'm gonna try to adjust my lighting just a little bit. To hopefully that looks a little bit better. Um, but my sim card was full <laughs> my sim card was full so i went ahead and just wrote in all the names for the trackers just so that way you guys don't have to sit there and see that but i'm gonna go ahead and put this in there and i kind of want the trackers to face the back side so that way if i'm just easily flipping through i can see it since i did not make these double-sided but as you can see that is the envelope and it looks super duper cute you know this is gonna be a lengthy video i apologize but i just wanted to be real thorough with what my goals were and me going through my envelopes again so i've already wrote down all of these that way you guys did not have to sit through that i apologize again like i said it is night time so i apologize if it's a little bit darker um then wanted <laughs> So I can't wait till I stuff these. I get paid on Friday. So I will be stuffing these finally then. Um, but like I said, they won't get anything more than $5 in each um, per week. So the max that I would stuff in this binder is $30 a paycheck. I didn't mean to say per week. It's per paycheck. Um, so yeah. I think they came out so cute. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments what you think of this new release what you think of the binder let me know if you're joining in on budget with amanda's little um long-term savings goal Ooh, about to break stuff but yeah so i'm joining her and i'm doing that for next year that is one of my next years um well it's, i'm starting it this year <laughs> um but yeah so my last binder right here is my savings binder and y'all i forgot to freaking put the um <laughs> i forgot to put the vinyl on this envelope but it's okay um so for this binder i have my savings goals my savings challenges for the year i did want to start these early because i want to be able to pull from them in november so in case i did want to use them for christmas i haven't fully decided what i'm using all of them for but just in case i wanted them to be done in november you know rather than december so i'm doing the one dollar challenge so i'm also doing a five dollar challenge and a ten dollar challenge and i want to see how many times can we complete these challenge within a year because I will not be stuffing this. I will be using anything, any money that was left over from my cash envelopes to fund this. So all my ones and all my fives, um, if I have any tens. Um, now I'm a little bit skeptical about the tens and y'all forgive my printer, it would not get the right cut. So we just gonna have to live with it. But I may stuff the tens. I'm not sure. I may stuff it, but definitely the ones and the fives are gonna come directly from my cash envelopes. But even if I'm stuffing a 10 every two weeks, to me, that's not a big deal. So I'm okay if I stuff this one, but these two will only come from leftover cash envelopes. So this first one, I'll have $50. The second one, I'll have 250. And the third one, I'll have 500. Now these three, at the end of the year whatever money is here of course I'm not gonna leave it in here because it's like a little bit small as you can see compared to the sizing of over here um I'm gonna put this to debt so whatever debt I'm working on at that time it's going towards that that is what my goal is for these little mini challenges here I am doing budget with Amanda's 1k challenge so I did purchase her sheet. We will be going through and marking these off throughout our videos. At the end of this challenge, we should have 1K. Um, I think this is supposed to be weekly, so it should be, um, I think you're supposed to mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't know i don't know exactly how this works i think you can go at the pace that you want to do so either i'll do i'll pick two numbers bi-weekly and stuff them or i'll just stuff them once 
I haven't fully decided yet. I think it just depends on what the budget's looking like for that particular paycheck. But yeah. So I'm doing that and that will go into this frosted envelope right here. And the last two things here are some more new releases from my shop. And I decided to do my own savings challenge. So this first one, and it's for 20, um, 26 weeks. I get paid bi-weekly, so I did make these for 26 weeks. If you're weekly and you want to join me in on these challenges, um, you can either just stuff it $50 a week, or you can, you know, once you finish it, do it again so then you'll have this one you would have two thousand dollars so if you do it twice if you're weekly you'll have four thousand um but you stuff this every paycheck so every you know bi-weekly paycheck i get paid twice uh, every two weeks so every paycheck you stuff 50 and then if you only stuff the purple ones you'll have uh, 1400 but if you add the bonus ones you'll have two thousand and then my last one is another one. This one is a $5,000 challenge. You have to stuff $150 every two weeks. I'm the type of person where I need my numbers to be consistent. Um, it just helps me picture my budget a little bit better. It works for me if my numbers are the same that I'm stuffing. So I, can, I already know, oh, okay, uh, $200 comes out in savings challenges, you know, rather than waiting until the week and seeing picking a random number that just doesn't work for my budget because sometimes I have to budget my, my I have to budget to the penny to make sure everything works and gets paid and things of that nature. So I can't draw randomly. That just doesn't work for me. Um, so I created something that had everything the same and I could still reach the same goal so if you fill out all of the purple ones you'll have 18 um 4800 4800 4, if you add the two bonus hundred ones you'll have 5000 by the end of the year so I will be doing these challenges these two will also be releasing on Black Friday so if you want to be a part of my little saving challenges with me um be sure to pick them up um because i'm doing these guys with you i'm gonna wait until december to actually start stuffing these um yeah i think i'm gonna wait until december so that way anybody who wants to do this challenge with me can get their hands on them these two challenges will be going to dream home so that's why i'm okay with stuffing these in december um they'll be going towards my dream home they won't be going towards anything else besides that so yeah i am super excited um let me know what you think of my new releases what you think of what my envelopes look like um uh, let me know what you guys have you guys decided what you guys will be doing for the next year whether that's sinking um savings challenges whatever it may be <clears throat> also i want to put a little thing up here if you watch a video not my last video but the video before that when i counted my coin collection um or this <laughs> when I added the money in the coin jar um I did oops did I mess it up nope I didn't we're good I did a surprise giveaway in there so I want to go ahead and announce the giveaway right now so I should have popped something up on the screen I hope I did <laughs> but uh well duh I'm gonna have to because then how you guys gonna know who won whatever but anyway congratulations thank you so, so much for contributing to my little giveaway i like to do many giveaways um secret giveaways if you will uh because i just want to make sure my true elevated babes the people who be rocking with me to the end oh y'all i forgot to put these trackers in this in but i'm gonna keep talking and put them in there <laughs> The people who be just rocking with me until the end, I want to, to have something for them. So I did a little giveaway. So congratulations to the winner. Nobody actually got it exact. So I picked the first one that got closest to what it was. The actual amount was $54 even. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Like I said, I'm about to put them in here. And these are just the trackers. Um, I had to cut these a little bit short. So, I'm out of breath because I was talking fast and I was going to film two videos, but I'm not going to have enough storage space. So, we're going to have to do that later. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep putting these in there. Like again, I just re really appreciate everybody who, you know, sticks around, who subscribes. We are 
super close, I think, to 4K. So I hope we can get there soon. I wanted to reach it by the end of the year, but I'm blessed no matter what. I just want to thank everybody who watches me, who subscribes to me. Like, to be honest, I have a truthful moment with you. I never thought that I could get this far. Um, when I first put my first, because I, I have a second YouTube channel, and that one I've been struggling for like the longest to grow. Um, so I was really skeptical. I was like, oh, I doubt I'm ever going to be able to grow this channel. And look at me now. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. I can't wait till my cash stuffing. Um, you will see me stuff the three in the front, but you won't see me stuff any of the other ones because we'll be starting that later. But thank you guys so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we lit over here or whatever. We be struggling, but we be making it through. <laughs> Turn on your post notifications so if you're notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!